Uh, my name is Nkululi Nkulumo, and uh, today um, we are going to be together for some few minutes. Um, I want to say compliments of the new year. I hope all of us um, came into 2024 in good health. Um, I want to thank the organizers of this uh, meeting for affording me this chance and this opportunity to present or to talk about um, something which I'm very passionate about, which is um, the importance of tax. Um, by background, I work for the Zimbabwe Revenue Authority, um, and uh, by title, I am a manager um, in charge of audits, and also um, micro, small, and meter enterprises unit. I also deal with um, taxpayer registration issues and also taxpayer services issues. So I am hoping that I will be of um, assistance um, in this first um, discussion where we talk about the point of tax. Basically, um, when we talk about tax, we are talking about a very important um, cogwheel in any government because governments rely on tax to take, a, take care of um, social services, take care of government business, take care of salaries for civil servants, take care of um, capital expenditures or projects, take care of a lot of things. And tax is what keeps government oiled. So it's something which we need to embrace and uh, contribute to. No one has a right to be a citizen of any country without contributing to any tax of any sort. That's why government, you realize that it has um, put in some regulations and legislation to try to make everyone contribute to tax. So it's important that we embrace tax because we want to deal with tax and say that it's in, in, in its fairness, everyone should have played their share or take their share in contributing to, to the tax in whatever amount, in whatever form. So basically, there are so many um, tax types which um, are found in Zimbabwe, but uh, in broader terms, it's divided into two, domestic taxation and um, custom excise, which um, is more of uh, um, the other taxation. So I am going to basically talk about uh, domestic taxation, which includes our value-added tax, our income tax, our pay as you earn, our capital gains taxes, our withholding taxes in any form. So those um, are covered under domestic taxes. So um, every business um, is supposed to contribute one way or the other into any of these taxes. And um, mostly we contribute to, towards income tax. And um, government also to try to incorporate the smaller players among us, they have brought in the preservative taxes, which are supposed to be paid by smaller players, mostly the micro those people who the government recognized that they may not keep proper records so that at least so they then came up with figures 
which the nurse then is supposed to contribute to. But otherwise, generally, everyone is supposed to contribute to um, these taxes. How do we contribute? Um, directly, we contribute by rendering with the, the Zimbabwe Revenue Authority as a taxpayer. Once you register as a, 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 a taxpayer, you are then supposed to be issued with what we call a taxpayer identification number. Once you get a, a taxpayer identification number, then you register for what you call tax types, either for income tax, either for pay as you earn, either for value added tax, uh, or withholding taxes, even presumptive taxes. So you then register for those taxes, and then you then um, pay either monthly if the, that tax requires you to pay monthly, or pay annually or quarterly, depending on the tax head. So basically, um, it's important that we all register for tax and contribute to tax. And um, when we all are tax compliant, which is what um, we tend to get to, that everyone contributes and they're tax compliant, we don't need, no one needs to be pushed to contribute or to pay their part or their share, then it means that uh, the tax pattern is now spread to everyone. It's not only now um, a few people who are carrying the pattern for the whole nation, when others are just you know, um, trading and not paying anything towards the fiscals. So that tax pattern, once it's spread, it then helps that even more social you know, uh, amenities are taken care of. Um, you know, roads are repaired, you know, a lot of infrastructures are, you know, taken care of. Um, you know, salaries are, being, are paid because now the, the, the burden is now shared. And then we as citizens, we then um, enjoy um, the, 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 the benefits of uh, all those amenities. The hospitals are, 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 are taken care of, you know, a um, lot of things are then taken care of for our benefit, so that you benefit from those things. Um, so it's very important that uh, we then realize that it's important that you be test compliant. And also as a person, you will sleep soundly because you won't have any um, blame over of your life. That uh, I did not pay my taxes, maybe they'll catch me up, they catch up with me and, um, and the other. And then you avoid a lot of things when you're test compliant, a lot of penalties and interest. Because the truth be told is that when you are found out that you have been trading and not compliant or not uh, registered, we then uh, backdate um, the registrations and the collections of that tax to when you were supposed to have started um, to pay, and it becomes a tax burden very heavy, it can then take away all your profits and all your income unnecessarily, and um, you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. So it's better that when every one of us may register for tax purposes. And generally, you know, tax improves the economy of any country, because um, if the truth be said, now the um, economy is more informalized than formalized. The formal businesses, although they are carrying a big pattern of the tax, um, they are few. People are going informal. We see a lot of people um, informalizing. But the advantage with them, um, the informal sector at the moment is that it's contributing, I think, over 60% to the GDP of the country. And also, it's also contributing to the unemployment levels in the country. Because employment is not a good morning every time. 
what basically happens is that if you are self-employed, if you're doing your own thing, you run your, your 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 market, you're running your tax shop, you you, you have solved employment and also it brings stability into the country because once people are employed, self-employed, yes, they'll be granted disgruntled about that people want a white collar job or they want to a good morning job. But the fact that uh, you 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 can put food on your table, it brings stability into the government that we don't have a lot of um strikes, a lot of uprising against government because people are busy, you know, um self-employed doing their own things and uh, and and uh, uh, and, and busy with their activities. So it brings that bit into the government and uh, it also um, gives um, us that good tech that uh, as, as a country we, 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 are, we have people hard working and once we have those kind of people then we, because generally um, the trend now you know, is not about um, employment, the trend now is about uh, um, being employers. So it's important that we then embrace um, that because as you can see, our universities are turning out a lot of these uh, brilliant you know, students with brilliant you know, um, I mean, academics. But um, once those people then go into um, self-employment and create jobs for themselves and create jobs for others, then it will bring stability and also um, will then be um, in the bread basket um, for, 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 for the world because those brains uh, on the things learned at colleges can now be implemented into our businesses, into our activities, and you do those things. Um, yes, um, that's a, people can argue that no, 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 no country can, can survive without uh, you know, employment. You know, yes, we have got the people who are employed, but I'm just saying that the trend nowadays is not to be uh, an employee, but to be an employer. So I want to employ all of us that once we create more employers, then it means that the tax base will also increase uh, and, and expand, and the economy also will also improve. So basically, um, that's an overview of um, the, 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 the tax uh, issues. Um, and it's important that um, when we have tax, we know that um, the economy will tick when everyone contributes. Yes, people argue those who write and they do research and say that no, we're overtaxed and things like that. But at the end of the day, this is our country. And uh, we need to build this country ourselves. No one will come from anywhere to build our country because as, the, as this excellence also says, all it says that uh, the country is built by its own people. It leaves with a kind of an animal. So it's us who supposed to build this country through our taxes, through our hard work. So let's embrace the taxation and um, um, come and register. So basically, um, we have a um, system which we call tax and revenue management system, which we recently rolled out, where you can um, come and register on it's an internet-based system, and uh, everyone, it's a very easy system to register on, and um, if you approach any nearest Zimbra office, uh, they should be able to assist you to register, um, and, uh, and there that. So I think I want to encourage all of us to go to the nearest Zimbra office and register, so that at least we can then benefit from um, the registration and also play our part as Zimbabweans to build our nation. So once you are registered for as a tax pair, and you have also registered the tax types, income tax, the VAT, the pairs you earn, um, the authority taxes, it's going to be very important that then you get educated and then you can submit your 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 your, your taxes. Um, and your payments on time. So it's a bit detailed, but uh, I wanted us to encourage all of us to register for tax because um, it's a advantageous for us to register. And also when you are formalized, 
take note that there are so many banks who then want you to produce your team. Even the ten, government tenders or tenders to tell for jobs, they will need a test clearance certificate. They will need a registration, you know, proof of registration. So it's important that if we are going to, to grow and uh, participate in the economy, you need to register because you need a, a registration, you know, status to be able to tender for any jobs or, or whatever things to do. So it's important that we, we, we register for these things because wherever we go, um, those who deal, with, who deal with us, they will need the test clearance. You saw the, 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 the trust which government is going into where he's saying that for you to buy from manufacturers, to buy from wholesalers, you need to get a test clearance and also register for VAT. It's important that we embrace that and grow our businesses. Not all of us can qualify for VAT, but all of us can. All of us qualify who are doing a trade, one trade or another, to qualify to register. So it's important that we register. So after you registered, then you can then apply for your tax clearance certificate, you know, online. Um, there is a facility, um, or, or once you're registered, where you put your team, you use your team, you go to, to, to a place where you can then apply under tax certificates for your tax um, clearance certificate. Um, if uh, if um, everything is above board, your test compliant, you then automatically, the system will automatically generate a test clearance for you, then you get it. If you, you're not compliant, then you then need to, to clear, is it a return outstanding, is it a payment which you, which you, you overlooked to pay, just clear the payment, then you, 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 you get your payment. Uh, if you, you have a big bill and you need, uh, you can't pay it one off, there's a facility to do a payment plan, so you do a payment plan, determine plan, then it's approved, then you can access your test claim certificate and then um, you can then trade because now the tax clearance certificate is the thing which is needed for you to, to, to get jobs and also to trade. Because the challenge is that when you register and you don't have a tax clearance certificate, when you um, deal with the, those uh, with other traders, when they want to pay you for your job, for the job or services or for your goods, they will then um, withhold 30% of that payment because um, we are not test compliant. But it's important that all of us be test compliant so at least we can then um, not get these deductions or from our uh, profits or from our revenues. So uh, in a nutshell, um, as an overview, that's what I thought I could share with all of us so at least we can then uh, um, uh, you know, get an overview. But uh, as indicated, I am open for any questions. So um, let's ask the questions. I will attempt to respond to them to the best I can of my knowledge and, and also try to work together and help each other. Thank you very much for this opportunity again. I'm hoping that uh, this is the beginning of great and, uh, and, and, and bigger things um, between us uh, as we interact and as we partner in, in, as we deal with the, um, our tax issues. We will talk more maybe in future specific uh, topics, but this one is just an overview about importance of tax. Thank you very much. Um, over to you, Mr.